Well, we made a plate. Ah. Faced it off with the fly cutter. Surface finish feels good. Yeah, what's the other side look like? Same, tight. And then we uh, drilled a couple holes, four of them, one in the middle at a uh, half 13. These for clearance for our nuts. Countersunk them so that it sits below the surface. And now I'm just try trying. Now you're gonna fuss it onto the fourth axis. To get it fussed onto the fourth axis. And then what are we going to do with this piece of aluminum We're stock? We're going to make an effigy of a turbine. Turbo furnace parts. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, don't Whoa. be poking the devil now. Hail <laughs> motor. Alright, so we got that first one done, but what we realized is because we're just we were just gonna index it over after cutting each one that we need to make this not just be floating in midair, which is just gonna like go flying and break the cutter. We got fusion to emit a different tool path, and then we got in there and we hand added like a loop thing to do it 17 times. The leading edge or the trailing edge obviously has some like nicks and deficits, but you know, we could have rounded off the profile in the CAD program, but we just didn't because literally the goal was not that. The goal was to just do this. And it's totally an effigy of a turbine.